What's up guys, I'm Improv and this is my Iron Man. I have no special restrictions and just plan to play the game my own way and show that even if you don't have all day to play, you can still achieve great things. This is Casually Maxing. I really want to get a dragon pick, however, right now especially, there's a lot of PKers. I just hopped and was checking uh, out Calvarion. I went to Vedion. I should have I should have used my I should have recorded, but um I got attacked by like a four man squad with like Dark Bow and a bunch of other stuff, so not going back to Vedion right now. I think I'm just gonna have to do that on off hours if I'm gonna do it in the wilderness. I guess at some point I could do it in the Calphite King Calphite Queen Lair and try to get the dragon pick there. But for now, I'm just gonna go do some Slayer. We're at a pretty good point in the account that we we need to get these last three levels anyway actually main goal for slayer right now is 87 so we can get a trident and a whip that would be kind of kind of the focus right now so we're going to go do that and if i happen to be on during some off hours like late at night then i will of course go to the wilderness and try to get a dragon pick but if not then we're just gonna focus on slayer first day back on slayer in Probably a couple weeks. We are starting off with a nice little Dagoneth task. We are just going to AFK here and grind it out. All right. It's time we take another look at our rewards here. We need to optimize our XP per hour. So one other thing that I want to unlock is... It's a big one. It's a big one. Is this one here. Stop the Wyvern. 500 points. Stops you from getting Fossil Island Wyvern tasks. For one reason or another, I feel like I get them a lot here at Duradel, so I'm going to go ahead and unlock that. That should that should help a lot, so I don't have to skip those. And also, while we're here, I kind of want to point out a couple that you actually should be getting to optimize your Slayer XP. So, first and foremost, the first big one that I always get on any new... Iron Man account is Malevolent Masquerade. So this is the big one, just to turn your Black Mask into the Slayer Helmet. Slayer Helmet is super important because it combines all the Slayer gear. So like your nose peg, your ear muffs, and those things all into one. So you can actually do Banshees and stuff while gaining the bonuses of a Black Mask. So make sure you are unlocking this first with that 400 points. If you don't have 400 points, by the time you unlock your black mask, then you should definitely just look into boosting Slayer points, which that is very, very easy to do as well. Second thing I usually unlock is broader fletching, but that's just me just for fletching XP. And big thing is if you are trying to play a little more casually and you're trying to AFK with ranged, you're definitely going to want to get this for broad bolts to use with your rune crossbow. So that's going to be a very, very important one there. So these two are a couple that I usually start with. One other one that is, of course, a very, very big one, in my opinion, is bigger and badder. This one, I would probably get this one second if you are meleeing your tasks. If you're not ranging your tasks, then get bigger and badder second. Basically, this allows a superior version to spawn of some of the Slayer tasks that you are on. Basically, it's more XP, and for an Iron Man, you can actually start hunting for the Imbued Heart, which is pretty much the best boost for magic. So, definitely want to... Oh my god, what did I just do? Go back, don't disable it. I didn't even know you could do that. You can disable these? Wait, can you disable any of these? Oh my god. Wait! Oh, that's wild. So you can actually disable some of these that you get, which means once I get my... Oh, that is very interesting. Who knew? Who knew? So, like, warped reality I could disable and not get warped creatures anymore. Confirm. Huh. I already have all the stuff from there. I don't need those. That's interesting. Who knew that you could disable stuff? Wild. But yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys kind of some of the ones that I usually like to unlock. There's definitely more extensions that I want to unlock as well in the future, but we'll worry about that another time. Why did I not know this was a Slayer-only Shaman cave? 
I guess I should uh, be doing a little bit more research. There's so much more room in this cave. Oh my god, this is phenomenal. Why do I always forget to bring Alex here? Like, I don't... I don't understand. What's wrong with me? What a relaxing shaman experience in the Slayer Cave. Didn't get crashed a single time. Didn't see anyone. Oh, that was... That was just so relaxing. All right, we got a nice little neck reel task. So we are going to go knock that out. That should be really good XP. Um, we're about 130K off 83. That won't be 130K, but we got some slaughter. So should be good. I just saw somebody else using blood spells on there. And that just makes way more sense. Like, why was I not doing that? Because then I don't really have to worry about health. Like, I don't need to freeze them in place. Yeah, I think that is way better. Do you guys use ice spells or blood spells when you're killing the neck reels? Let me know in the comments below. Yeah, this seems to be much better. I don't really have to worry about dying to the chaotic death spawns using blood burst. Finish the task. Killed 275 for 63,000 XP. Super quick. A lot of money. We love those. Switch to standard. Man. Never gets, never gets old being able to switch that easily. I'm telling you. All right. There's another legend man task completed. We have killed a little over 1100 lizard men shaman. Um, so we are still like a third under drop rate for the dragon Warhammer. but getting it quick would be, uh, would be pretty beneficial. Cause then I can actually just stop killing lizard men. Um, I, I'll probably get rid of the Slayer Unlock once I do that, because at that point, there won't really be a reason for me to kill them anymore. It's not like I necessarily need duplicate Dragon Warhammers. Plus, the XP I get here isn't, like, the greatest in the world. I honestly am just doing this for the Dragon Warhammer, and I might as well do it during Slayer so that I have the XP coming in and the chance to get it, you know? There we go. Big Slayer level. Level 80 three only two more levels and we can go for our whip big 91 range coming in couldn't afford to keep skipping tasks so decided to do this elf task and honestly every other task is costing me a ton of prayer pots this one is kind of chill pretty easy to kill and i can just use normal food oh i got 94 hit points holy nice and 87 magic coming in we are getting the levels today everything's just popping at once Ooh, a missed battle staff that's kind of a nice little drop let's go just our neck reel task ended up killing 304 i think i don't know how many we were given it wasn't that many though i think like 230 is what we were given but the bracelets of slaughter just come in so clutch like that was crazy Awesome XP. It took about an hour and a half to kill 300. Not bad at all, but we are starting to run low on runes, so we won't be able to do that many more burst tasks unless I want to actually buy runes, but those blood runes are super expensive. I don't know. 110 combat, 94 strength. Big, big level there. Seems like a good time to point out that the CC is still going strong. The clan chat has over 70 people in it in our clan. So we all hang out there. We all talk a lot. If you want to join, the CC is on the screen. Just ask for an invite to the clan and be a part of the community. So we have a greater demon task that I just didn't feel like skipping. We have about 147 of them to kill. Um, since the new combat update, they are they have a 40% weakness to water spells and a negative 10 uh, defensive bonus against them as well. And we just got a missed battle staff drop. So I figured we would test out some uh, magic on these and see what that looks like. We are just going to be using water wave. We'll just safe spot it. And we are also using Aram's rope skirt and blue moon chest plate, which means both of those give an increase to damage as well. So we're going to see what this looks like. I probably shouldn't use my last blood runes on this, but you know... YOLO. Yeah, while this does hit pretty hard, I don't know. I don't know that this is worth it. I think I'd rather just kill them with melee and the chasm 
of fire, to be honest. Yeah, I think the magic differences is really just better for low levels. At these stats, it's just not worth <laughs> It's just way better to melee. What is this drop? 15 watermelon seeds? I don't think I've seen that drop. That's actually amazing. I'm not even gonna lie. So I was AFK killing these mutated blood belts, and I missed our 84 Slayer level up. 300k, then we can start hunting for a whip, which is pretty cool. Pretty big time for the account. So one more level, we can get the whip, like I said, but also three more levels and we can actually hunt for a trident. And at that point, really, I mean, we focus on bossing. I mean, there's not a whole lot more to do after that. Of course, there is a couple monsters you unlock after that, you know, Dark Beast, Cerberus. Cerberus is a good unlock. Hydras, things like that, but... The most important ones are these two. We did also unlock Drakes, but I don't know if we want to mess around with Drakes right now. I, I kind of want to get to 85 pretty much as fast as possible, and then we can kind of coast to 87. 